Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Um, camera gear can get pretty expensive. So, and at the same time though, uh, if you browse online, there's a huge, huge offer of uh, cheap gear, usually coming from China. Um, usually knockoff designs, well, ripoffs, at least in the design of uh, better brand products. Um, and there really isn't a lot of information. Um, it's hard to get to know who these brands are that are producing cheaper gear. Uh, it's kind of hard to find decent reviews. Well, you do find something like Amazon reviews or uh, big online store kind of things, but you don't really find that in-depth um, uh, product review that you would find for better pro for better gear, which is kind of a pity because uh, when you can buy a flash or uh, I don't know, any specific um, piece of gear for fractions of what you would pay for it uh, if you bought the original or if you bought it in a store. Um, well, the lack of information kind of keeps people back, I guess, a lot. And before you spend even a little amount to have something shipped from the other side of the world and just find out it's crap, uh, I guess that stops a lot of people from 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 buying. And when you maybe don't have the means to buy the original product, that will just end up um, leaving you in a pr pretty uncomfortable position because you can't upgrade, uh, you can't uh, gain more experience in what you're doing. Um, and at the same time, yeah, well, well, that's the main drawback, I guess. So well enough about that, but uh, this is all to say I recently made an order from one of those low cost websites that have a bunch of electronics and all kinds of gadgets and gears and gear. And I made an order for some uh, photography equipment and this is the first piece that came in. Uh, I might link the website, I might not. It depends, I guess, how happy I am with the products I receive. Um, delivery was relatively quick, it took a couple of weeks. Um, the, the stated window for delivery was about a month, to be honest, so not super quick. But I mean, it took half of w w of the window they gave me, so at least for this product. So not too bad. Um, okay, so well, uh, well, let's check out the package first. Uh, this is a flash. It's a Viltrox uh, JY six eighty A. So it's a speed light model. Uh, well, a speed light knockoff. And we're definitely going to see what, what, what we get in the package and um, probably try turning it on and while well, checking out the basic functionality. I won't review it in the sense that I won't be using it today. I'll, we'll keep that for an, another video. Uh, so once I get to use it a little and maybe find some more resources online to compare my experience to, uh, then I'll make a more in-depth video. But this is just to see uh, what we can expect from uh, online purchase and well so let's, well, stickers the packages well at least it's sealed i guess well, unless someone opened it there's some information on the back value is 15 i don't know what that means there's no unit i guess dollar is euro it's not what i paid though i paid a little more i paid around uh 21 i think let me check uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I paid 21 excluding uh, uh, delivery costs, and delivery costs were divided among a bunch of other items. So it could be somewhere around 5 euro of delivery costs. So in total, 25, 26 euro, I would say, is what I spent for this uh, piece of gear. And uh, well, okay, no real information. Uh, maybe opened officially. Okay. Uh, undersigned. Mr. Wang is the person signing for this on the 30th of August. So yeah, a couple weeks is what it took from deliver from when it was sent to when it arrived, I guess. Okay, so let's start checking out the package. Why not use a knife? People 
So just one time, they're good to use. It's for opening packages. So here we go. Oh uh, yeah, you have to excuse me, but it's a very tight fit here. I can't really get my arms in in this box, in this white box. So, okay, so here we go. Um, so here's the box. Let's get this out of the way. Viltrox, your smart choice, has a QR code, I'll be checking that out for sure, might give some info on the producer I guess. Uh, LCD panel, exposure compensation, uh, we'll be checking out all this stuff later, let's see what the box says. Professional speed light, uh, subtle light output control. Comes with photoelectric trigger function, super recycle time and user friendly operation. Uh, the box is kind of decent. It has a lot of information. It has these easy to easy to follow um, icons. It doesn't look really that bad. I was expecting more of a cardboard box, perhaps. So let's see what else is in the package. So here's the cardboard box I was expecting. Um, let's get this open. And here we go. There's a kind of cheapish microfiber pouch. It, I don't know. It really feels feels kind of cheap, but I mean, you know, it's for the price, what do you expect? And to be honest, it smells a little. Not that is not too cool. Uh, yeah, I hope that smell will go. It's the smell of cheap uh, synthetic fiber. But okay, we have a warranty card. Okay, as you would expect, we have. Uh, user manual in English and uh, I'm not sure what Chinese that is I guess I don't know I'll just go ahead and say Mandarin um, and to be honest well there's a bunch of pages so there's some information they did go through a little bit of uh, of Okay, some information on the product, schematics, um, before you start, well, open the cover, insert the batteries and close the cover, yeah, how to attach it, turning on the power, so yeah, okay, I guess it's your usual, uh, usual info, we'll keep this for a later read. We have a stand. Stand is plastic, but it's kind of sturdy. It's a nice, uh, as you can see, it doesn't really flex too much at all actually it's, it's a nice it's a nice plastic so this feels like something that you know feels pretty sturdy it has little rubber feet four little rubber feet uh hot shoe attachment here and you can attach it to a tripod here of course so okay not not half bad but now let's see the the big player for this video so we open well the pouch 
Yeah, nothing else inside it. Put that aside, and here is the flash. So let's get it out of it. I don't know, to be honest, for 20 euro, the packaging is, is quite, quite nice. And the feel is kind of good. Um, What do we have? Well, we have a full metal plate here, LCD screen, different modes, slave function, test light, um, the sensor, and well, the good thing. The good thing personally for me is that the swivel and tilt aren't locked by a button or often you'll have a button here or and one in the back often to, to to lock your flash in position but I tend to find that really annoying because these these locks get blocked very easily sometimes they don't really work too well so if you have to quickly uh, if you have to quickly change position on your flash that might be a little bit of a pain in the butt, as you can see with um, with this one, for instance, with this Sigma. Uh, with this old Sigma, you have a button here that enables you to swivel. But as you can see, every time you have to press that button once you get back to the center, and then you have this button to control the tilt. Okay, so you see. I don't know. It's not a huge problem. These work very well. I like the just being able to move stuff without having to press buttons. But while we have it here, let's compare size. Um, this one's a little bit smaller, but the Sigma is an old is an old model. So, um, so I mean. Yeah. Uh, from what I read, I'm not an expert in Canon gear, but these should be quite similar, similarly designed to Canon uh, product. So I don't know about that. I'll check it out. But um, one of the good things I was, uh, one of the good things about it being designed uh, similarly to another brand, to a bigger brand, is that in theory accessories should be able to adapt easily to. If you need, I don't know, a diffuser or stuff, you should be able to find a Canon one that will fit. But I have no idea, I still have to check that out. So, uh, let's get some batteries in it then and see how it works. Well, first things though, weight. Eh, this one I think is a little heavier once you take the batteries out. And to be honest, you see, it's not that bad. Um, you see the Sigma has a plastic plate for your hot shoe. Uh, this one has a full metal plate. Well, practically full, except for that little wedge. But uh, it's a nice, it's a nice detail. I think this it'll eventually, depending on what use you make, it might crack or break. Or it's the plastic. It's just a little flimsier. Uh, for twenty euro, this is definitely or twenty six, including expenses, uh, delivery and shipping. This doesn't seem like like. Yeah, it seems to be pretty well built. Um, battery, com well, I mean, this is a sturdy, but look okay, at this is a pretty sturdy flash, I would say. But this one kind of has no creaking noise on the seams or it's really well constructed I don't see any uh, I don't see any clear defects the joints are good the like can you feel this can you hear versus 
so nice nice sturdy build definitely uh, definitely on par with what a Sigma Speedlight would be or even what a, from my experience with them as a non Canon user but with Canon um, Speedlights a, a, a decent well built well at least in its external appearance um, so let's try popping some battery oh well we have some connectors here hmm okay well this is a connector for the cable for the tether to the camera but this is not 100 percent sure to be honest um i have to check it out there's another port uh never seen this connector but that's just ignorance oh nice okay this is also nice detail look at the battery compartment pull it automatically opens and flips open uh Check in comparison the Sigma. You open it. You have to kind of pull it open. It makes a weird noise. But I mean, this is old, so you know, it could be that it's not such a big of a. But I like it. I like it for the price. These little details are pretty cool. Nice and sturdy. Uh, the joints. The joints seem good, they're metal, the, yeah, I mean, it seems pretty well built, I would say. Um, I don't like this rubber too much, there's some rubbery soft material here, not a big fan. I think that'll get slowly consumed and ruined, but, but yeah, so let's pop the batteries in and see what, what results we get okay. yeah not too bad and okay turning on there we go so uh, definitely turns on Okay, ready to go. It has a backlit screen. You have the option to turn on a green LED. So I don't know if you can see it, but should you be in dark conditions, it definitely works. Let's try it out. Let's see if it works. Oh, where's the test button? Okay, yeah, it does work. Very, uh, yeah, recycle time is quite quick look uh one two three yeah uh not bad uh not bad at all you have a mode button manual multi you have uh whoa okay slave option two different well, I'll have to check all this stuff out. I didn't. This is more of an unboxing, I guess. But uh, let's also check it on uh, on the camera because um, one thing I'm a little mm, concerned about is that it's a universal. It's supposed to be a universal flash, so it's supposed to fit on all brands of cameras. But uh, whoa, sorry about that. But. Um, I don't know, the thing with Universal is always, you never really know, right? Um, so, let's see. Let's see once we connect it. There we go. Yeah, well, it definitely communicates with the camera, so that's good news on that side. So it definitely communicates at least with Pentax gear. Uh, if I had other brands with me here, I'd probably test it out with all of them. 
and I might be doing that in the future, but, um, but yeah, uh, so far I have to say, um, oh, you have this cute four-way dial to manage your controls, I guess. Um, Yeah, there's some, okay, I'll have to check out the controls and then definitely test it out. Uh, okay, so. Well, yeah, so here you go, camera flash works. And um, I have to say, so far as a, as a, um, as a for as a twenty dollar uh, piece of equipment, uh, well twenty euro piece of equipment, uh, I have to say I'm pretty impressed by the build. I was expecting um, the only decent, well the only opinions I found, uh, well most of the opinions I found came from Amazon, and uh, to be honest, they had a pretty shitty uh, rating uh, around two stars and a half or something on I think five reviews or something like that so uh, of these five reviews a couple were positive saying hey no problem no issue whatsoever and a couple of reviews were saying ah it didn't work on my camera it was supposed to be universal it doesn't fit so I'm glad uh, at least it works on mine uh, this might be something you might want to take into account if you're thinking of buying one and um, but other than that, I'm surprised at the build quality. It's um, it's definitely sturdy. Um, oh, I forgot this. Well, there's the wide angle. Uh, oh, 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 and a little diffuser card. So, do these actually come out? Or? Okay, yeah, little diffuser card. And the wide angle, uh, this should um, expand f f the maximum, the minimum uh, focal length from 28 millimeters to 18, if I'm not mistaken. So that's a nice little detail. And um, well, yeah, uh, I'll be hopefully coming up with uh, some actual. Te field test of it and maybe a comparison with the old Sigma and maybe a comparison with actual uh, speed late gear and we'll see how that plays out and um, if the savings on the purchase are actually worth um, worth it if the results you get um, and you know one thing I think about cheap gear is that often it's not the results that are that much worse than uh, expensive gear it's the lifetime of the product uh often yeah of course the flash will work or whatever gear you're getting will probably work it just might not hold up for years or it might not um, hold up in bad weather or you know or it might not um, survive a fall so that's something to take into account when you buy cheaper stuff but we'll test it out because it does feel well built and um if if the results are um, in line with my first impressions, uh, I think this might be a pretty, pretty cool little set of gear uh, that would enable you, you know, with 100 euro to buy, you know, you can buy like four of these and set up a pretty decent uh, strobe setup. So, well, we'll see about that. Thank you for watching everyone. And um, as usual, please subscribe, uh, like, follow, and yeah, um, you know, all support helps. So have a nice day and see you at the next video. Thanks.